guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. I'm very um, stuffy in my nose right now, and my snails, little canals, canals are stuffed, so that's why I'm gonna sound a little bit weird. This is what time I have to film a video, so that's what I'm doing. So this week's video is going to be how to be a happier person. I only have six reasons right now, so I'm just gonna explain those, give some examples about my life. Hopefully um, you can relate to what I'm saying and hopefully you can apply it to your life. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, my first reason is to smile more. Even if it's not a true genuine smile, studies show that just smiling will release endorphins throughout your body and overall make you a happier person. Even if you're not doing something that makes you happy, if you smile through it, it won't be as bad as it seems. For example, in my life, I'm a dancer. So ballet probably isn't the most exciting thing in my life. Um, but when I'm doing ballet, I smile through it and I smirk here and there. And it helps me get through ballet class. It just creates more of a positive outlook on the thing that you're doing. Smiling is just like an overall positive thing that can really influence the way that you look at things. And another fun fact to know is that a smile is the most attractive part of a person or like the thing that attracts a person the most. Oh, and by the way, I'm not like a professional psychologist or whatever. These are just some things that help me um, become happier and things that I've noticed that I do to stay in that happy mode, I guess. Okay, uh, moving on. Okay, number two, I said treat yourself in the morning. So lately, I, instead of like waking up at 6.30 to get to school by 7 and like having this really rushed morning routine, I think it is better to wake up early and take your time getting ready. So taking time to like wake up, eat breakfast, drink some coffee, like taking time on your makeup and treating yourself before you have your whole day ahead of you. I especially do this when I go to like dance conventions. I like to get up earlier than what I should so I have time to prepare myself. It feels like I have me time in the morning. I think it's a really nice way to like fit your own uh, self nourishment and treatment into the day. Especially like my life is so freaking crazy. I don't even know how I can fit YouTube, dance, now I'm doing private lessons and acting lessons. Dance is like 98% of my life plus school plus friends. I don't have time for anything. All my free time is filled. So like having this extra time, like forcing yourself to have this extra time in the morning, I think can really do good. Yeah, so normally like I get up early and then I make myself a cup of espresso and I take my time straightening my hair and take my time doing my makeup. And honestly, like it's a time to like reflect on like what you're gonna do that day, what you did yesterday, having like you just go through your thoughts. If you have a busy life like me, it's a really good way to fit me time into your day. Um, so surround yourself with healthy relationships. Now this can be like best friends or boyfriends or whatever. I personally don't have a boyfriend, but I have multiple best friends that are just so positive in my life. The amount of support that I get from my friends are just amazing. And I love every single one of them. So going along with healthy relationships, it can also be from your parents. Like me and my mom have a really, really good um, mother-daughter relationship where we can share anything. When we do see each other, we sit down and we talk and talk and talk. I don't shut up, but she listens to me and we have honest conversations. So that's good. At least every person should have one person where they have that relationship with someone. Um, honestly, it's just so good for social health and mental health to have that person where you can rant to or have that person you can tell something good about yourself, like you've accomplished, accomplished something and they probably will genuinely be happy for you. When you have people that aren't genuinely happy for you or someone who just is constantly knocking you down or judging you, like true friends don't judge. So when you have those people in your life, it's important to know when to cut them out of your life. Someone's probably heard the saying like, describe like your five best friends to me and those are all the traits that you have. Friends translate into how you live your life. And so having someone that doesn't support you or doesn't genuinely care for you, that's not healthy and you should cut them out of your life. So just have healthy relationships. I mean, it's easier said than done, but it's the truth. Just 
surround yourself with people that make you happy and you make them happy and everyone's just a happy family number four okay i'm a total hypocrite when i say this but sleep longer so let's just talk about my sleep schedule at the moment so i get about four hours during the week and on the weekends when i don't have dance conventions or when i don't have eight hours of dance i sleep in for like nine ten hours this is like my recharging times during the weekend and then monday through friday go back with the four hours a night so speaking to myself too sleeping hours can really affect you and how you live throughout your day i actually don't know like the statistics on like schoolwork and sleep the amount of sleep that you get or how it affects people in general like i don't know any like the statistics or logic on that but i mean honestly i feel like when you get more sleep you're just more like charged and you're more ready for the day that's coming up. Getting four hours of sleep is like plugging in your phone for 20 minutes and you only have half your battery. So in order to last all day, you need to charge fully. Wow, that's... Yeah, so think about it like your phone. Like you have to charge your phone completely for it to last all day. So why is it any different than your body? But again, with saying getting up earlier means you'd have to go to bed earlier, which... Honestly, I know it doesn't work out sometimes, but especially during the weekends when if you've had like a rough week Recharge on the weekends like it's crucial. Yeah, just just take care of your bodies That's really what I'm trying to say. Okay, number five get into physical exercise So I have seen before that uh, physical exercise will release endorphins and release happy feelings like you might be in pain when you're exercising doing something really hard like cardio or I don't know CrossFit or whatever um, but after you will feel so much better lately I've been into running I haven't at all like the past month but like after I ran like I felt so good when you work out like all your toxins are released in your sweat you're essentially cleansing your body when you work out and you sweat but i mean like along with physical exercise you have to eat better too like eating healthy um honestly my favorite places to go like chain wise is mad greens and vitality bowls they have such good like healthy yet really good tasting food um and a little secret here if you go to mad greens and you order off the kids meal which is like the five dollar um salad whatever and you need to pick three different things so smart and i do it every single time because uh, the salads are so big for a kid's meal and it's also a way to like portion control it's just smart to order off the kids meal sometimes nourish your body inside and out so when you exercise you're cleansing your body of all the bad things that are being adjusted into your body but if you're eating something that's good for you, then you're not ingesting as many toxins. And overall, you'll just have a really good, healthy body. I don't have anything specific, like food-wise or physical exercise-wise. Honestly, it's just about finding what works for you, finding um, what you like to do, what you like to eat, if you like to make things. Um, yeah. Okay, and then my last tip is get a spiritual coach or like a life coach or some kind of person to help you with these mental blocks. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm taking acting lessons now. This is mostly for like dance performance, um, but we might be moving into like actually acting, which is cool because I like acting. This My acting coach has helped me so much with like these mental and spiritual blocks I never knew I had. It's just crazy like when you sit down and talk about your past life, what's going on in your life right now, and like how you're handling things. Like everything is connected. For example, my dad, he's a little bit of a controlling person. And my acting coach pointed out to me like the fact that I have a tendency to not do things unless it's right or perfect or like I don't want to get things wrong come stems from my dad having these tendencies to get things right and have things perfect I ne I would have never made that connection but having someone to listen to you and reflect back on you like it really makes a difference I don't know I think a spiritual coach is really good because I do think that 
everyone has overall spirit e even if you're like religious or whatever i do think that everyone has an overall self spirit and sometimes it just needs cleansing sometimes we just need to find out like what's blocking us what's preventing us from living our full potential. So yeah, that is all that I have for you today. Uh, right now it's Super Bowl Sunday and I have to get to a Super Bowl party. Uh, I'm like two hours late, but it's okay. I'd rather be here and talk to you guys and make this video. And hopefully you guys are happier after listening to this or have more ideas on how to be happier, what to change in your life. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm so just, I'm just, 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 just I'm just so happy with my channel and i'm happy that i'm making videos and i hope you guys like really get something from this video because i think it's really important to know if you're not happy how to fix it i hope that you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe down below like this video if you liked it comment down below any uh video suggestions or which one which tip that you want to try if you have any questions peace and don't you stop the music getting to it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me? Move your feet and feel it in the space between. You gotta give yourself a moment, let your body be.